Thank you, Professor Shapwood, for this opportunity to sit with me. Well, thank you very much for asking me to sit with you today. Thank you. Can tell us about your academic background? Please. Yes, um, very straightforward in, in a sense. The usual high school. Mm -hmm. I am from rural Jamaica, so okay. my high school would have been in rural Jamaica. Mm -hmm. After high school, I, I worked for a little while, and then I went to Teachers College, okay. and then to the University of the West Indies mm -hmm. for my bachelor's mm -hmm. and master's degrees. And then I got a scholarship to the University of Cambridge and did my PhD there. And then you're back to, to UWE Jamaica now? Yes. Um, after Cambridge, I got a, a job at the University of the West Indies, first as a temporary lecturer. Mm -hmm. And then I got a full-time position um, mm -hmm. in 1989. Yeah. And I've been there ever since. Very nice. With here and there <laughs> fellowship yeah. at the University of Michigan yeah. and the Institute for Commonwealth Studies in London and so okay. on. But pretty much I've been at Mona. <laughs> oh, that's great. Very nice. And can you tell us a little bit about your, your interests and areas of specialization yes. and the research you're currently undertaking? As you know, I'm a professor of social history. Mm -hmm. So social history is my disciplinary training. Yeah. And I, if, if I should think of what unites my research, I would say it is an interest in what we would call subaltern groups or marginalized people, yeah. traditionally marginalized groups. Yeah. So this means I'm interested in discourses of gender, mm -hmm. um, gender and history. I'm interested in migration yeah. and the treatment of immigrants. Okay. And of course, then slave people. Yeah. And then there's a group I look at that people are surprised about. I, my PhD work was actually on marginalized white people. Really? Europeans who were not a part of the dominant sugar economy. Okay, interesting. And so I wanted to look at how their, what their life was like mm -hmm. and how they interacted with the sugar barons. Yeah. So, so it's pretty much gender discourses in Caribbean history, migration, mm -hmm. subaltern studies, enslaved people, and Jamaican economic history. Oh, pretty nice. Have you undertaken any sort of regional like GDS research work? In my role as mm -hmm. university director, yes. We have Through Women's Eyes mm -hmm. and we have the Climate Change Project. And of course, as a unit, we are committed to helping Haiti mm -hmm. and the universities there yeah. integrate gender into their curriculum. Yes. Um, so what has brought you to IGDS St. Augustine unit today? Well, I'm now the university director mm -hmm. of the Institute for Gender and Development Studies. As you know, the IGDS is a regional mm -hmm. entity. This is my annual visit to the St. Augustine unit mm -hmm. so that I can talk with students, you know, with the faculty yeah. and just see how things are going generally. So what is your best memory thus far? What I like is the collegiality. Mm -hmm. I like the, the way in which we're passionate about our work. I just get that energy and passion. Yeah. And I think it's because we know that there's so much work to be done. Yes. There is so much still marginalization of, of gender issues within our university and in our society. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what we are demographically yeah. mm -hmm. in populations. And, and also, there are many organizations that want us to be involved in their work. Mm -hmm. I think it's the passion to make a difference in Caribbean society. If they're interested in doing a major in gender studies, mm -hmm. what, what advice would you give? Yes. Well, first of all, my advice to people who are watching is that if you, if you don't have a UWI degree, mm -hmm. please apply to the University of West Indies. <laughs> As an undergraduate, you mm -hmm. can be exposed to what we do. One unit has an undergraduate program, mm -hmm. but the other units reach out to the faculties yeah. and ensure that we have electives and, and minors. Mm -hmm. So as part of their undergraduate education, they yeah. can be introduced to us. And there's an international program mm -hmm. in all, in, on all of our campuses. Okay. And students from abroad, students from other parts of the region mm -hmm. can access the UWI and do the masters, the mm -hmm. MSc, the MPhil, the PhD, because we, we need as many specialists and resource people as we can get yeah. in gender studies. We don't have enough. People think so, but we don't have enough. This year, too, is the 20th anniversary of the IGDS. As you know, the big conference is here at St. Augustine. Yeah. There'll be a, a one day for the students, mm -hmm. or a half day maybe for the students, yes. the graduate students, to yes. present their work. Mm -hmm. Supervisors will be here. Yeah. Also, there'll be panel discussions, mm -hmm. and people from all the units will be facilitating mm -hmm. the maybe as discussants mm -hmm. or themselves be uh, presenters. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have our big keynote. This is going to be a surprise. I can't announce it yet. Mm -hmm. But we want to honor a special person oh, this nice. year with our keynote address. So I, I, I hope that I'll be, you know, helping to contribute in that way. We have to look forward to all the regional units coming to St. Augustine. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you.